everybody welcome back ruben texas all water fishing sorry for the audio i have my camera off we're getting ready to get in the water do a little weight fishing we started down in galveston and the water is just too dirty so we just drove all the way down here we're near surfside now we're trying and to find some clean water but we couldn't yeah there's, there's just not clean water so we're gonna we're gonna make the most of it we bought some live shrimp we uh and we're just gonna jump in the water we're gonna take a look and see see if we can hook up and kind of just play the day by ear. Yeah. But thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks. So here's our awesome bait butler. So there's a place where you put your aerator. Lift this up. And you get shrimp. You get your shrimp by your hand. Lift that up and the shrimp comes right up. Yep. Oh, I see some big shrimp ones. Shrimp to the top. And then look at the bait butler with the little shrimp. Shrimp for your man. Yeah, the water's very dirty like, like we've been seeing all down the coast. You can see it over here. It's a little cleaner. Something just hit my cork. Something's hitting my cork right now. It's something small. You can see cleaner water out there. Tide's going, going to be going out all day. Mm -hmm. Which is going to make uh, a little more challenging because for that cleaner water to come in because it's going to take it to push it in so maybe this afternoon or this evening maybe in the morning the water might be clean but well, we saw a friend of mine was driving through freeport yesterday or riding through freeport on the boat and uh this is kind of our best i guess surfside but this is kind of our best best spot best chance to have clean water on the coast was down here towards Surfside. So I knew we wouldn't have to come down here. But yeah, right now I'm fishing with uh, about two feet, two and a half feet, leader line, 30 pound. Got the woody cork on there, shrimp cork. Christopher is fishing with the coastal cork and he's fishing with about a foot. The reason why I have him about a foot because it's just easier for him to cast. The, the longer the line is, the harder it is to cast especially if you're so close to the water like he is as far as height goes a nice mullet nice mullet big old mullet shrimp's kind of small but that means you just get more in your bucket right we got storm we got a few storms that are popping up is my cork on the water yep feels extremely small let's see there's eh, somebody on there. He's weighing down. See, it's still down. Extremely small guy. And it's going to be a hard head. Nope. It is a whiting. A little whiting. Slimy. Hmm? He took it down his throat a little bit. I'm going to be able to get him out, though. There he goes. Small. You want to throw him back in? Yeah. Pick him up. Grab him at the closer to his head, buddy. Closer to his head. Oh, oh. Closer his head. There you go. <laughs> he slapped you in the shoulder. <laughs> oh, slimy. He is slimy, huh? Just leave your head in the water for a minute. Rub it. Chris, we got a good fish. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Come on. Roll him up. Hold him up. Hold him up. Hold him up. Hold him up. No, no, no. Don't, don't come out of the water. Don't come out of the water. When I hold them up, means don't come out of the water, okay? What That's is a, it? a good trout, good speckled trout. Yes. Put your bow down. There you go. That's a good trout. That's a real good trout. Here, hold this one. I'm gonna put the lipper on them. I'm gonna get that hook out. And we're gonna measure them, and then we're gonna release them. I wonder if he's a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. He's probably about 17, maybe 16, 17 inches. Awesome, Chris. It's 17 inches. Yeah, is that a keeper? That's a keeper. 15. Yes. 15. 15 is a keeper. That and you got 17. Yeah. Turn it a little bit. Yeah, he is fat. Yeah, he's a nice fat he's guy. He's heavy. Yeah, he's a good guy, huh? All right. So now we're gonna release him. Hold him. Hold him with both hands. Hold him up a little bit. There you go. Put him down a little bit. All right. Now go ahead and put your hand down. Both hands down. To so release him. Put him in the water. Put him in the water. Hold him. Hold him. Don't let him go. Let him swim away from you. 
Don't don't let him go. Let him swim away. Yeah, there yeah. you go. That's a proper release. See that? Mm -hmm. He swam away because we don't want. You want to revive him a little bit, right? Because we we uh, we stressed him out. We had him out of the water for a minute. Watch your hands off. So I'll hand you this right back. Yeah, so you want to revive him a little bit. You want to make sure you let him swim off on his own. All right, everybody so that's the deal for this spot you know we're just it's just like super dark super cloudy you know Christopher caught a nice solid 17 inch spec yep. and we're gonna, we're gonna leave Gal and we're gonna leave Freeport Surfside area and we're gonna hit back over San Luis Pass and get back into Galveston I'm not expecting the water to be too much too different than it is over here but we're gonna give it a shot there's a spot over there I like to fish sometimes and we went over there and looked this morning and it looked like the cleaner water was closer there. So maybe by now it has come in a little bit. So hopefully we can reach it. But stay tuned. Hopefully catch us hooking up in G-Town. little guy right. only guy of the day little penny little penny I, mean, I was getting not I was getting desperate get him off Chris pick him up Ugh. get off Ugh. look Chris look at my fish it's a skipjack There he goes. He's a big one. Look, 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 he's jumping. See, that's what we keep seeing jump on. Go and throw him back. That's what we keep seeing jump. Watch, he's a poor man's tarpon, AKA skipjack. Don't, don't, don't bring me off. You got a time when he jumps and bring him out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's a big. Let me see that, Chris. Hold it. There you go. Throw him back. You got blood on your shirt. It's a good one. See, I keep seeing him jump and jump and jump, and they're turning a bait out here. So I put that cork, probably about two and a half feet of leader line. They had no drag set at all. Let it completely wide open. That way when they did hit it, he could just pull drag. I don't want to have to worry about him pulling my my cart in or my new, my new bait butler in. So 
Yeah, but Christopher and I, we went we went to the seawall. It was super packed, super crowded. Really hardly any place to park. It was yeah. still real dirty. So we decided to head over here and cut on my buddy's docks. I know you guys are probably, you know, tired of seeing me fish over here. But, you know, this is just on the way home. So we came out here and tried to run through the rest of this live bait. But not really too much going on here. Uh, I think we're pretty much going to pack it up and leave. But if you like this video, what do you need to do? Um, please like it, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And hopefully next time you catch me, hooking myself, up. hooking up, Christopher hooking up, everybody I'm with hooking up. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.